open the A15 which for parking car meeting uh, with Lash's report. Okay, the report. Monthly parking revenue in April was fifty-one thousand five hundred and five sixty-five against the budget amount of fifty-three thousand eight hundred for an unfavorable variance of two thousand two hundred and ninety-eight thirty-five. Uh, please note that there is a variable, a favorable variance of 10,000 in March, which is a result of prepays for April. To date, there is a favorable variance of 50,812.66. Transient revenue for April was 18,750 cents, against the budget amount of 16,300 for a favorable variance of 1,707.50. Uh, validation revenue collected in April. Was six thousand eight hundred and thirty-five twenty-five against the budgeted amount of five thousand eight for a favorable <coughs> variance of eight one thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven twenty-five, and uh, that's that's still due to the YMCA with their construction. Uh, payroll for the month was fourteen thousand six hundred and fifteen seven seventy-nine against the budgeted amount of sixteen thousand four hundred for a favorable variance of one thousand seven hundred and eighty-four twenty-one. Uh, as far as maintenance, uh, the crews continue their spring cleanup uh, and the walkthrough will be, will, will, will be performed at the end of May to ensure all punch list items are complete. And the preventative maintenance, of course, of all, all the equipment. Uh, the net income revenue for April was a positive $5,996.39 and the year-to-date net income is a positive $71,173.93. Any questions for Matt? Did you get the comparable, Mr. Curry? I did. Okay. I did. I had that from my report. No questions for Matt. We made a motion to accept Matt's report. That's a motion. Yes. motion. All in favor, second by Ed Kosarski. Okay. Just so everybody knows, this, these, these numbers do not include the intermodal unit. That's not part of our jurisdiction. So it's just the garage. For the record. Yeah, for the record. For the record, okay. Uh, under the chairman's report, uh, call on Ed Katarski uh, to uh, <coughs> make a motion, a resolution. What was the no, no, we, no, we're, no, not yet. No, we're supposed yeah, to. Are we supposed to vote with some stuff that uh, Alan? Okay. Yeah. Alan. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, since the the last meeting at the direction of. The the authority, uh, uh, Desmond uh, Associates was uh, doing a preliminary analysis of uh, both the garages and the meters uh, at the direction of the authority to get some sense of whether the valuation we're looking for, which is $20 million over 30 years, $30 million over 50 years, was reasonable. Um, and. Uh, in that time, uh, working closely with uh, Authority Council uh, and the Authorities team, we updated the RFQ um, to reflect comments of the Authority uh, made at the last meeting. That was circulated Friday. Uh, Murray's firm gave us a couple more changes. I would just wanted to make sure the Authority members had it. We'll circulate it to the press more broadly once there's a couple of typos, things that we want to make sure are right that we'll work with Murray's firm to correct before we circulate it. Uh, and, and uh, post it. I think um, one change in this that I wanted to highlight is that um, the city um, uh, has made a recommendation that uh, there be consideration for adding additional 30 meters of on-street single space <coughs> parking on Public Square. Um, and so that is part of what we put in the RFQ, which uh, will have a positive <coughs> effect on the value of the, of the project. I think the other things were issues that, in comparing notes with, uh, you know, uh, the <coughs> Council Murray Upper, things that we both wanted to make sure that we addressed. We have a black line which can show you everything that changed since you saw April 26th that we circulated. And just to, you know, make it so it's a little easier for the authority members for future meetings, if um, you want me to make sure that you get things when we send it to Authority Council and Tom Torbett, we're glad to include you on the email list because it's important that you get things on a timely basis and be able to ask the questions that you have. Uh, Desmond uh, um, has uh, finished part of their initial work. 
they will have it finished by tomorrow uh, at uh, three o'clock, and at that time would be, um, you know, would be glad to give you their preliminary findings, and who's going to want to do that with the authority? Now, is there anything, anything that they do have any impact on this RFQ? Uh, it, it could, yes. So there may be, for example, they may look at the uh, the level of rate increases. For example, they may recommend that to get our valuation that we want, we may need to change up or down the rate at which we increase the meters, for example. Uh, those sorts of things. So, so this could, I mean, still we know this recommendation there could has be to some, be made, yeah. but there could, there's still going to be changes that we have, do we have to approve them before, if there's changes made, do we have to wait to another meeting to approve them? Uh, if you're asking me, I, I think that uh, the authority may want to, uh, with, with whomever you wish to have, uh, review those changes and approve them for the authority. It might be well, unless there's something that's demonstrably different that really changes the whole landscape, uh, I think it would be well to authorize uh, the RFQ to be issued with the Desmond information after that's been reviewed by whoever you want. Okay, but I, I don't think we should wait another month. I think we should have it moved out. Uh, yeah, that's what I was wondering because yeah. if we have to go right. through this every time and this has had so many changes in right. it already. Right. Well, it's right. about the yeah. sixth copy already. Right. All right. Yeah. So that would uh, probably be somebody like you, wouldn't it? Myself. Well, and so you and council would approve it. Okay. Now, we're expecting those numbers tomorrow sometime, but they're going to have to be reviewed. Yeah. I mean, and I, 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 I really have to be compared to make sure everything's <coughs> in the right order. Uh, and then, I mean, we'll talk with Desmond tomorrow afternoon. And, or one of the bureau well, as soon as I'm available, yeah. I'm not going to be traveling tomorrow, but okay. uh, I'm, I'm okay. out of town. Um, and, uh, I mean, I'll talk to him first if there's any, and keep Murray informed if there's any anything okay. that we don't feel comfortable with. But um, if the income... So I, I, my, my assumption is they're going to give us a, a number to shoot for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, tomorrow, but after a conversation, yeah. yeah. But I, I think what they've done in analyzing the numbers at this point, um, they're going to come up with a recommendation for 30 to 50 years. Right, right. Exactly. But, but whatever that number is, whatever that number is, there's no reason for the RFQ not to issue because it's already been prepared and there's a lot of work that's gone into it. So we can issue it, find out if people are interested, and that will give us a sense of whether there's, uh, in fact, interest by parking, uh, parking people out there. And if there is, then that will all come back along with the RFQ to this body as well as to City Council, and a determination will be made as to whether there's, uh, whether there's interest in moving forward on, on the basis of what your responses are. Because to remember, they're non-binding numbers that will be coming in. Right. Uh, Absolutely. They're going to read these. They're going to read the RFQ based on the numbers that are in there, and making all the assumptions they're going to make. They're going to say X amount of dollars. Um, then that number has to be refined with the concessionaire agreement. Um, so it wouldn't hurt anything to go out, no matter, regardless of what the number from Desmond is, right. whether it be low or high. We go out with the RFQ and see what the real. What the real people, what the real people say. Talking. At this moment, we have nothing to lose. Right. Right. We are uh, just to build on what Tom said. We are starting to get calls from uh, bidders wanting to make sure they're on the list, not having discussions with them about the terms of the deal, but want to make sure. And we do have, um, as uh, you know, your council had suggested, and uh, um, you all uh, had asked for. This is a list of. Uh, bidders that we're going to make sure get a copy of uh, of the RFQ in addition to the fact that we're going to be putting notice of it in two parking publications to make sure that we get maximum circulation. But the market seems to already know about it and some people said there's even people in town already looking at the meters, you know, to start their preliminary analysis. And if there's anybody who should be added to that list, we want to because the more the merrier from our perspective we want to get, you know, input from the market. That's the point of this process, and it's a request for qualifications. It's not a request for proposals, so we're not from this entering into any binding agreement. We're just finding out in the market if there is interest in the transaction. How do these people know to get in touch with you? Uh, uh, as 
precise. Uh, so far. there will be notice in two parking publications uh, beyond this list. But these are people who have already expressed interest or they bid on other parking transactions. Okay, we'll wait for questions at the end. We'll let the authority members do, uh, ask their questions first. So, we'll Paul, sure. do you have a, do you want to ask for, if you feel it necessary uh, to ask for a resolution which uh, after the receipt of the Desmond um, information, and after it's been reviewed by Tom and by me, Tom and you, uh, that it unless it is something that absolutely requires authority, uh, attention, and, and and or intervention, that the RFQ can be issued, uh, you know, promptly. Yeah, well, I, like I said, we'll just I'll make the resolution. We'll just authorize Block uh, Rochelle to uh, issue the RFQ if they're satisfied with all the information that comes back to Desmond. And then after that comes in, we'll have uh, Murray and, uh, Murray and Tom, Tom uh, review, review. review it, and right. then, then they'll put out the RFQ. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of the resolution. Okay. So put the so RFQ out. Yeah, I pretty so much have out to, yeah. RFQ yeah. to issue it okay. based so, on uh, so Murray, information from Desmond. You will send out an email authorizing uh, the release of the RFQ. Yeah, I'm I'm out of town uh, Thursday and Friday, but I will make myself available even Saturday by uh, by an email, and if I can, I'll get to one on Friday after you and I've spoken and reviewed the information because it will come to me, right. and I'll have I'll have access to uh, uh, to the uh, to my emails. So in the next couple days after it comes tomorrow yeah. afternoon, you and I'll get together. We'll talk Thank about you. it, and I'll shoot. Alan, uh, a note saying uh, proceed Release. with the RFQ. Okay. Sure. Okay, so that's procedure. Second on a motion. Also. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed for the draw.